Hello chaps. Uh, I just thought I'd show you this next little bit of the build. Uh, it's the wingtips and they're laminated and they're a bit of fun. So what I've done, I've cut out a pair of wingtips out of foam board and I've stripped up some 16th balsa and soaked it for just a minute really, two minutes maybe. And I'm going to do the wingtips as I did with the uh, fin and tailplane tips. I've only got one bend to go around, it's not huge. So I've got a choice, I either assemble it wet with no glue and tomorrow when it's dry, glue it, or I glue it as I go. Thinking maybe I'll, I'll glue it as I go, then the job's done and tomorrow it'll be nice and dry. So, the glue I'm going to use is good old aliphatic. I'm going to put five laminations on each. That will be plenty. That will give me, in theory, five sixteenth. Well, it will give me five sixteenths thickness. As with the other components as soon as you put this on it goes quite thin because obviously it's watered down so let's just put it behind there like that give it a technique going here ease it around the corner put the pin back in There we are. This line here is my uh, guideline. I have to go past that line. To fit onto the wing. The wing is uh, a wing from an old glider, which I've adapted. I've cut it down slightly to uh, fit the proportions of this model. And uh, put on the outside of that just to hold it a minute. Put that one in there. Okay. Beauty of laminating because you get fantastic shapes that are self supporting, use very little wood, very easy to make, and look jolly impressive when it's done. There to hold it, just ease it around the curve. It helps to have just the right grade of wood if it's too hard you've got to soak it a little bit longer last piece the other thing about laminations is it's incredibly strong when it's done if you cut this out of solid balsa say used up a big sheet of quarter inch balsa it would almost certainly break where the grain goes around the corner at some point the grain is going to be pretty much uh, straight across the piece instead of lengthwise so there it is i've put a pin further back from where it's actually going to be cut off so it's it's not the dent that I'm putting in will uh, disappear. A little bit of swelling there, so I'm just going to put a couple of little bits of scrap wood. When I say swelling, it, it's bulging out a little bit from the from the 
uh, template guide. Okay, that looks pretty tight. Hi guys, good morning. So we've got uh, the wingtips are now dry. So let's just pop them off and have a look. I suspect these little blocks would have stuck slightly to the... Use that off. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. What a beautiful piece of artwork. <laughs> That's going to have a fantastic amount of strength. So we've got the wing tips, we've got the tailplane tips, and we've got the lovely fin and rudder shape. This is because is what makes uh, modeling such great fun. Assembling these little parts, making the parts and then assembling them up for the for the complete model. This is the port tip, all chunked up with wood. I'm going to go out and sand it and we'll see how it looks in a minute. There we go. As if by magic, it's all sanded up. So it's sanded up as nicely as the other side. So next job is to pop in the shear webs. Then I can think about joining. Here's the other one. Okie dokie. Let's press on with the next piece. See you soon.